Hi, so if you are just joining, welcome to IS Quad Fest. I'm uh, Nebojša Vojvodic. Uh, I'm the product manager with the Hydra team. And I'm here to talk to you about uh, how we are going to help uh, scale Cardano using Hydra. So uh, like uh, most uh, blockchain platforms, uh, Cardano's initial focus was on decentralization and security. Uh, that requires a large uh, number of network participants to uh, confirm all transactions and agree on the network state. That in turn uh, requires uh, some of the redundancy to be built into the system and that poses some challenges on um, how we can actually address scalability for such a distributed system. Um, so uh, layer one blockchains uh, can be optimized to increase uh, their capacity to handle more transactions in a number of ways. One of them is uh, input endorsers, and a, n a number of other ways were discussed uh, earlier in, this, uh, in these sessions. And, but it will still require um, the large network to agree on the current state of the system. Uh, we can go above and beyond um, these uh, optimizations in uh, layer one, and we can actually offload uh, some of the transaction processing away from layer one, and uh, that will free up some capacity uh, to, for applications uh, that actually need uh, their uh, transactions to be confirmed on layer one. And uh, it will also allow us to optimize um, the scalability for specific use cases that maybe don't necessarily uh, require um, the two, uh, transactions to be confirmed on layer one. It will allow us basically to make uh, different uh, trade-offs uh, with regards to decentralization and security on one end and scalability on the other end, uh, then the trade-offs that uh, we've kind of agreed to make uh, on the layer one. So um, there are uh, different um, scalability solutions out there in development. Uh, they include side chains, they include state and payment channels, and um, they include optimistic and ZK rollups. Uh, all of these uh, solutions um, um, are more or less complex to use. Uh, they are more or less customizable for specific use cases and applications. They use different security models, uh, and uh, they, um, um, yeah, they, they are basically more or less suitable for uh, specific uh, use cases. Hydra, uh, in particular, is simple to use. Its security model is well understood. Uh, and uh, most importantly, uh, we can start applying it to concrete use cases and applications right now. Uh, so what is it actually, Hydra? It's, uh, it's um, going to evolve into a family of scalability protocols for Cardano, so it's a kind of a scalability framework of sorts for Cardano. And uh, it will help us uh, scale Cardano by speeding up transaction processing, thereby increasing also transaction throughput of the system. It will also minimize the transaction cost. And it will help us uh, offload uh, traffic from layer one for those uh, applications that uh, actually really need it. Um, and uh, as mentioned already, but first repeating, uh, Hydra is ready to start applying to existing uh, applications out there. Uh, so we are starting with the Hydra head protocol. So this is the first component of the emerging uh, set of uh, um, uh, scalability protocols as part of the Hydra family. Uh, and uh, it's an ess in essence an isomorphic multi-party state channel. And what we mean by that, isomorphic means that uh, Hydra uh, actually uses the same data format for representing transactions. Uh, as, uh, are, as is used in the Cardano layer one. Uh, and uh, basically this thing also includes uh, transactions with scripts. And this means developers can use same tools uh, and techniques that they would use to develop applications in layer one, also to do the same by uh, using Hydra. Multi-party means that uh, unlike traditional payment channels where you have one-to-one, uh, -one, peer peer-to-peer uh, payment channels, uh, multiple participants can join a single uh, Hydra head and participate in uh, the consensus within the Hydra head. Uh, Hydra also allows us to, uh, this Hydra head protocol in particular, allows us also uh, to set um, specific uh, customized ledger rules that are suitable for concrete um, um, use cases um, 
out there and um, we can actually work around some of the constraints uh, that uh, are posed for these uh, concrete use cases in uh, the uh, ledger rules in, in layer one. So to explain this on, a, on, a, on, a, on an example of a poker game, we can imagine a group of friends uh, that uh, want to play a poker game on Cardano, uh, and they, ha they want to use uh, funds uh, on Cardano to, to place bets uh, within the game. Uh, so they, these uh, players uh, do can um, uh, form a Hydra head, and do they don't need to seek the consensus of the uh, entire network to place bets and to agree on the outcomes of each game. They only need to agree um, amongst themselves. Uh, the players would still retain control of their funds, uh, and uh, every player can stop uh, the game at any time, and uh, then uh, at that point, the, the balance uh, that would be withdrawn back to the layer one uh, would be the last agreed uh, balance that all players agreed on. So uh, where can we apply Hydra now? Uh, there are a number of use cases we think uh, that we can already start addressing with uh, the Hydra head protocol, which is the first component that's coming out. Uh, and uh, this includes uh, broadly can be divided into payments and uh, smart contract scalability. Uh, and in the payments, uh, we are already kind of working with the community and with the um, um, partners uh, in the ecosystem uh, to address uh, such use cases as, as paper use APIs, peer-to-peer uh, -peer, uh, payments, uh, subscriptions and, and prepaid top-ups. We are also thinking about machine-to-machine uh, -machine payments, for example. But beyond that, uh, we are also putting a lot of effort in uh, exploring more uh, complex use cases that would involve smart contract scalability. Uh, and this would include um, managing di digital asset auctions uh, in a Hydra head. Uh, we are also looking into how we can do voting uh, within a Hydra head and uh, also applying this to some of the use cases in RealFi and, and for example, in decentralized exchanges. So we are also always open uh, to hear from the community, like what use cases uh, you are trying to build on Cardano and how we can apply Hydra to help you scale them or to help address maybe usability uh, of those for your end users. Um, so we are working also on the number of um, uh, of, of different uh, use cases ourselves. We are applying Hydra to specific uh, uh, applications uh, out there, and in the process, we are creating some of the tools that the, the application developers in the Cardano community can also use to apply to their use cases. So one of these is Hydra for Payments. So we are working with Obsidian Systems to develop a developer toolkit, which would make integrating Hydra and you know, benefiting from fast and cheap uh, payments. Uh, and that would allow, for example, uh, light wallet uh, operators and uh, payment service providers to, to, to integrate Hydra into their applications. Uh, another one is Hydra for digital asset auctions. So this is also a developer toolkit, uh, which would simplify integration of Hydra for all of the applications that use digital asset auctions, for example, NFT marketplaces, uh, lending apps, and uh, stable coins. And both of these um, um, projects, Hydra for Payments and for Digital Asset Auctions, uh, we are building a toolkit and a framework for uh, to, to be used by developers in applying this to their end user facing solutions. Uh, but we are also building um, um, kind of a use case and an application that will use that framework ourselves to demonstrate how, how this is supposed to be done. Um, then um, we are also reaching out beyond that to the community and we are working with some projects uh, um, within the community uh, to um, to uh, help uh, them um, um, utilize Hydra in um, their existing applications and to help them scale them and make them more usable for, for their target audience. Okay, so we have a couple of videos here. The first one is uh, for the Hydra for Payments uh, that we are working uh, on together with the Obsidian Systems. So uh, can you play the video? Thank you. Um, then what you can see here is um, two uh, users opening up a peer-to-peer -peer payment channel amongst themselves using a light wallet interface. Um, you can see um, the number of total transactions in real time. 
this includes um, uh, constructing and submitting transactions, processing transactions, and then the communication between the um, between the front end and the Hydra for payments uh, and uh, Hydra infrastructure in the back end. Um, this can, of course, uh, be optimized, but we just wanted to have an initial um, kind of idea about what kind of throughput we can achieve. So uh, the total time here is uh, only counting the time that it takes to process transactions and finalize them within the Hydra head. Okay, so the next demo. Uh, so the next demo is what our friends from Sunday Swap um, put together by using Hydra. They've uh, shown this already at uh, Rare Bloom event in October and uh, they've tweeted about this, so you may have seen this already. So uh, basically what they do, uh, they um, um, set up a single Hydra head and then they um, flood it with automated swap transactions. So the idea for them is that, uh, that they are currently working on, uh, the assumption is that a single liquidity pool uh, will... All good? So that the single liquidity pool will uh, use... Um, um, uh, single Hydra head, uh, and um, yeah, basically um, the, the number of the transactions that they, they've shown there is what uh, they were able to achieve in the test environment uh, 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 by um, yeah, relying on a single Hydra head. So what uh, lies beyond um, for Hydra, so what we are planning to do next uh, is uh, our first ma next major milestone is to deploy the Hydra head protocol in the mainnet. This will also, of course, um, uh, include uh, the initial use cases and applications that are making use of the Hydra head protocol. Some of those we are developing ourselves, like uh, Hydra for payments and Hydra for digital asset auctions. Uh, and then, as mentioned, we are working with other projects in the community to help them um, bring their use cases also uh, in the mainnet. And we hope that those would be also available at the time with, when we um, launch the Hydra uh, head protocol. Beyond that, uh, we will keep adding functionality to support more use cases. This will include uh, also governance, voting use cases in a Hydra head. It will also include RealFi and uh, uh, some of the, uh, for example, decentralized exchanges that we are working with, like Sunday Swap. Uh, and um, um, beyond that, we are kind of focusing on um, uh, making it possible for uh, um, separate Hydra heads to exchange information and communicate amongst themselves, which will then in turn enable also more complex use cases beyond what's possible currently. Uh, and uh, if you want to see more detail around this, we have a public um, roadmap on our GitHub repository for, um, uh, for Hydra. And we invite you, of course, to um, uh, join the discussions uh, on that public um, roadmap. Uh, so what you can do to engage uh, in helping us uh, grow Hydra beyond uh, what we currently have is uh, we have a number of um, demos and example applications available, and we would love uh, for you to try uh, those out, uh, meaning try to deploy them in your DevNet, testnet environments, play around with them, and share your thoughts. Uh, tell us how we can improve um, this for developers to set up and uh, use Hydra in their applications. And we also want to hear about use, your use cases, like what are you trying to build on Cardano and um, how we can actually help you apply Hydra to these um, uh, applications and use cases, that business models that you are trying to build, uh, and uh, how we can actually help you then improve the usability and scalability of your applications to reach more uh, uh, users. Um, so the, the easiest way to do this is to complete a, a short developer survey, which uh, we will share the link for it at the, in the last slide. Um, we are also publishing a couple of light papers. One of them has been published a week or uh, two ago, uh, which is the Hydra for Payments, where we describe the approach, how we are going to apply Hydra uh, in the payments uh, or micropayments use case. Uh, and uh, yeah, we invite you to read that uh, and uh, yeah, 
give us your thoughts and comments uh, how applicable it is to what you are trying to do um, on Cardano. Uh, another one is uh, upcoming shortly, which will describe uh, our approach uh, on how to um, use Hydra in the, to, to run uh, digital asset auctions. Uh, so that's coming shortly, and yeah, we uh, yeah, invite you to keep an eye on that and uh, then to review and um, uh, get in touch with us if this is useful for you as well. Um, beyond that, uh, as I mentioned already, there is a public roadmap on uh, our uh, GitHub repository, so we invite you also to join the discussions there on specific issues uh, that uh, are uh, either already included on the roadmap or that are candidates to be included on the roadmap and tell us like uh, how relevant this is for your use cases and how well uh, it fits uh, what you're trying to, to do on Cardano. So um, you can scan the, obviously the QR code which will, kind of, which will lead you to links with more information about Hydra and how you can contribute, how you can uh, engage uh, with us in uh, taking uh, Hydra further. So. I hope uh, you enjoyed the rest of the IOS Code Fest, and uh, thank you for your attention. Mm -hmm.